Hi, welcome back to Recipes Mania. Today we're making Crystal's recipe for brilliantly baked apples. Would you like me to cut out the apples? Yes, please. Okay, so we've preheated the oven to 375 and we have cut up two gala apples and they're in chunks. In my so, opinion, they're the best. Yeah, they definitely are one of the best. I know. Okay, so what's next? All right, could you take um, two and a half tablespoons of that honey, please? And drizzle them all over the apples. Wanna make sure it's all evenly coated. So that's one tablespoon you just did? Mm-hmm. Now we're headed for the second tablespoon. As soon as you spread that. Okay. You did two and a half already? Yep. Cool. Let me get it mixed in a little. Absolutely, you need to do that. And we did use a non-stick baking spray in this pan. Oh so yeah. it won't stick when we take it out of the oven. Oh yeah, you definitely have to do that, otherwise it's a real pain in the butt, wouldn't you say? Yeah. My mom's done that before and let me tell you, it wasn't pretty. Okay, what next? Now you're gonna take two and a half tablespoons of the ginger now if you would please take one and a half tablespoons of vanilla extract Notice we want these apples to be really sweet and really yummy. How much are we putting of vanilla extract? One and a half. Okay. Okay, one and a half tablespoons of vanilla extract. How's that looking to you? It looks good. Yeah. See for yourself. Yeah, I say that looks pretty darn good. Okay. Now, we're going to take the allspice. And how much allspice would you like? And we are just going to do half a tablespoon of that. Just half. That's all we need. Now, here comes the best part. Ready for the best part, Renee? Yep. Now, here comes the best part. We're going to take some extra honey. We're going to take about a tablespoon and a half more honey and just drizzle it all on top. Should we do some cinnamon, do you think? Yes, we should. We can put that on top so it'll have like a crunch because you know cinnamon has a little bit of a crunch sometimes. We can just coat that on top of the honey. I like cinnamon, don't you? I especially yeah. like cinnamon in cake. Yeah, it's really good. I actually came up with a recipe for a cinnamon cake. I might do that for you guys sometime. What do you think? That would be good. Yeah. The only difference is I'm going to have to adjust the recipe because now my mother cannot have nuts. So I'm going to have to adjust it just a little bit, but that's all right. Putting some cinnamon on. Okay. Alrighty then.
so now we're all done and this is what it looks like before it goes in the oven so we have a lid on it and we are putting it in the oven at 375 degrees and how long should we bake it for 40 minutes exactly all right so we will get back to you in 40 minutes exactly I can't wait to taste this. How about you? Me too. You know, my mom makes baked apples for Thanksgiving, but you know what? She she doesn't do it the way I did it, so I can't wait to taste my own creation, and I bet you it'll even rival my mom's. Yep, me too. And we'll let you know. Okay, here it is, 40 minutes later. It looks really good, and we can't wait to have it after dinner. So, we hope you enjoyed this video. Try it yourself, and let us know what you think. Bye.